Hello everybody. A viewer called Stephen has asked me that uh, once you've created a spring out of some material, say two millimeters diameter, that's what this spring wire is, two millimeters diameter on this one I've made. After it's after the fact, once it's made, can you change the diameter? Well, I don't think there's a way to do it directly by changing some sort of dimension. But I have found a way to make it thinner or thicker. Well, we'll zoom into this end piece here. And we're going to select circle. And, uh, well, we haven't got a circle. We've got zero. I'll just type one. Right, let's put a one millimeter diameter circle in the middle. Pull tool and then select this outer part. Then we're going to rotate it. Select an axis. It's an axis around here. There it is. Axis, right, we're going to make it a revolver helix and we're going to cut material. So this spring is 20 millimeters. I'm going to make a height of 10 and then return and wait a bit. Not long, hopefully. There we go. Right. So it's made this part one millimeter down to that point there and there's the rest of the two millimeter spring. Which is uh, brilliant. And you can still select that corner and maybe that corner. We've got the curved a rounded corner here. So if we type one millimeter for that and return, what do we get? Nothing seems to be happening. Hmm. We do want the time one. Unable to round edges. What a shame. One. Oh, maybe it's too big. Point five. Point five. Ah, there you go. Oh, it's done half of it. Control click with the other, other half. Point five again. Let's try point five. Point five. Oh, I chose the wrong. Ah, oh. what did I choose? Control Z. Control Z again. Choose that one. Point five. <laughs> there we are. Choose that one. Line five. Yeah, lovely. Right, so there you are. I see it appears to play around. <laughs> well, I don't know, it might be uh, useful having a spring with two compression ratios. Anyway, that definitely is interesting. Maybe someone can find it useful also. See you very soon. Bye.